Shabbat Shalom, Chag Sameach, everyone. Please join us. Dai da yenu, dai da yenu, dai da yenu, dai yenu, dai yenu, dai yenu, dai da yenu, dai da yenu, dai da yenu, dai yenu, dai yenu. We're so glad to be with you for this family service. That's why it's at six o'clock rather than the later time for our adult services at seven. This is a service especially for families, for children and their parents and their grandparents and for everyone else. So whatever age you are, you have children with you, don't have children, we welcome you to this Shabbat Pesach service. My first question is, how were your sedarim, your seders? How were they? I'll pause for a minute so you can tell me. How were they? Were they fun? Did you sing a lot? How was the food? Mine was fun. Oh, I mine was, was fun a too. Lot. We have the same seder. <laughs> right. Maybe some of you zoomed the seder with relatives and friends around the country, around the world. Maybe some of you watched our synagogue seder. But whatever kind of seder you had, if there was one person or two people, or three people, and lots of people watching. We hope it was a wonderful Seder. Well, we're going to join for the blessing over the Shabbat candles, and then we're going to sing Shalom Aleichem. So Shalom Aleichem is found on page one of our prayer book, which I hope you downloaded or you printed out. So our Xerox prayer book so you could join together. So let's turn for the blessing over the Shabbat candles. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kidashanu v'mitzvotav, v'tsibahanu lehat likner, lehat likner, we join together page one of our booklets, welcoming in Shabbat, Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharet, Malachi Elyon, Mimelech, Malachi Hamlachim, Atado. Wish each other Shabbat, Shabbat shalom. shalom. Shabbat Shalom from us to you. We love you. We love Shabbat you. Miss shalom. You. We miss you. But one day we'll all be back at the synagogue together. Now we're at home, just like you're at home. Now, 
I bet at the Seder, you open the door for Elijah. And then you sang Eliyahu Hanavi, which we're going to sing tomorrow night because we're having a Havdalah service at 7.45 p.m. tomorrow night, Saturday yes. night, the service for the end of Shabbat. That service takes just 15, 15 minutes. minutes. We welcome in Elijah, Elijah who's at the birth of every child, according to our tradition. Elijah who gathers with us at Havdalah on Saturday nights. And Elijah who comes to each Seder. And at every Seder table, there's an Elijah's cup. So you welcomed in Elijah a few nights ago. Tonight, we're welcoming in the Shabbat Queen. We join on page one at the bottom of the page, welcoming in the Shabbat Queen, Lecha Dodi. <laughs> We rise for Boiva Shalom on page two. I'm going to open the door for the Shabbat Queen, just like we opened the door for Elijah. So we're going to join together. Boi ve shalom ateret bala, kam be simcha u ve tzola, tochem u ne am se gula. Boi chala, boi chala, la 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 chalot, likrat likrat chalot, penei penei shabbat nekabelah. Now let's all rise for Baruch Hu. If you're not standing now, we're going to turn to face east. In this case, from our house, this direction where you are is east, and we're going to join together for Baruch Hu, page two. There's an arc door, and put your hand on that arc door, and we're going to close, close the arc door. 
Great. By the way, because I went and opened the door for the Shabbat mm -hmm. queen, I did the same thing I did when I opened the door mm -hmm. for Elijah at the Seder. I got some Purell. Purell. So I'm going to wash the Cantor's hands. <clears throat> going to wash my hands. Because, you know, you have to be very careful these days with that <clears throat> illness going around out there. Yeah. Wash to your wash hands your hands all the time. All day long. And soap and water in the sink. Get your fingers together like this. Do the back of your hands. <clears throat> get the thumbs especially. And if you're tired of singing Happy Birthday twice, which you're supposed to do, sing Dayenu. twice. Oh, so it, and it's just great. Just <laughs> Dai, Dayenu, and so Dai. on. Yeah. So we're now going to um, spend a moment, and I want you to think about this. I want you to think about freedom. Freedom means the opportunity and the ability to be who you want to be, not who anyone makes you be. Pharaoh made the Israelites into slaves. Nobody wants to be a slave. Pharaoh directed the lives of the Israelites morning, noon, and night. He decided when they ate, if they ate, how much they ate, when they got up in the morning, when they went to bed at night, and everything they did in between. It's a horrible way to live. And in the world today, there are millions and millions of slaves. Not Jewish slaves, but because we had the experience, we Jews, of enduring slavery, of living as slaves. Back 3,200 years ago, in the story of the Exodus in the Torah, we know that feeling deep in our hearts. And because we know that feeling, we have to be aware of what's going on in the world. And when any people suffers from being told what to do rather than be able to live their own lives, when people are persecuted, when people are mistreated, when bad things are said about people because <clears throat> of their race or their religion or anything else about them, we have to protect them because we were slaves in Egypt. We know the heart of the stranger because we were strangers in a land not our own. So we have to all work hard, boys and girls and fathers and mothers and grandparents and uncles and aunts. We have to work very hard to make sure the world says no, no, no to the pharaohs in our lives. No, no, no to bigotry and prejudice. No, no, no to any way that anyone is going to bully or hurt anyone else. So let's pause for a moment before the Shema. The Shema in our prayer books is found on page three, uh, page four. And we're just gonna close our eyes for, oh, about 10 seconds. And we're gonna think about how we can stop people from bullying other people. No to bullies. No to Pharaoh. Yes to the Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Elechai Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Be 
ותהה את אדוני אלוהיך בכל לבבך ובכל נפשך ובכל מאודיך והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצבך היום על לבביך ושיננת עם לבניך ודיברת בם לשבתך בביתך ובלכתך בדרך ובשוכבך ובקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידיך והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך Now we're going to turn to the next page, to page five, and I want you to think about the foods on the Seder table from a few nights ago. I don't know what your favorite food is, but think about your favorite food, okay, your second one. favorite food, your third <clears throat> favorite food, and so forth. Think about the foods on the Seder plate. This is what I want to tell you. That the Seder is about remembering our slavery and therefore feeling the pain of other people, like I said before. And then the Seder is also about rejoicing in our freedom. So we remember the pain so we can help others, but we rejoice in our freedom and we give thanks. We give gratitude. When we sing Dayenu, as we did at the beginning of the service at the Seder, we're saying it would have been enough to have one good thing happen to us after we left Egypt. But so many good things happened to us. Well, Micha Mocha is like that on page five. Micha Mocha comes from the biblical book, the Torah book of Exodus. And it tells us the story of the Israelites leaving Egypt. And they get to the sea. And they can't cross because they're scared. And somehow... They find within themselves the courage to cross the sea, the sea that nobody thought anybody could cross. Were they afraid? You bet they were afraid because courage is not something that happens when you're not afraid. Courage is something that happens that when you are afraid, you take a deep breath and you summon up your strength and you say, to make my life better and the life of other people better, I'm going to cross that sea. Mi chamocha. Join us. Mi chamocha pahek im Adonai. Mi chamocha nedar v'kodesh. Norat e'ilato sefele. Norat e'ilato sefele. Mi chamocha pahek im Adonai. Malchutecha raubanecha Bokea yam lifnei Moshe Zeili anu ve'ameru Adonai imloch le'olam Now, one of the songs that we sang at the Seder was Let My People Go. Did you sing that song? Let My People Go is a wonderful song with a wonderful history. It's based on our story, the Jewish people's story in Egypt. We were slaves. And that story inspired people for hundreds and for thousands of years. 
to say, I'm not going to stand for being a slave anymore. And then African Americans picked up that story when they were slaves, the story of the Exodus, and they said, let my people go. And they sang and they created this wonderful song that we all know. And then that song came back into Judaism because it's found in so many Haggadot, at so many Seders, and it expresses what we all feel. Let my people go. When Israel was in Egypt land, let my people go. Oppressed so hard they could not stand, let my people go. out our Haggadah for the Seder a few nights ago, or if you printed out the readings and songs, actually songs, not readings, the songs for tonight's service, you can go to song number six. That's not in the Xerox prayer book. That's something you downloaded or printed out. It's about four pages. It has about seven songs. This is song number six. It's called We've Got Matzah. So turn to it now. I'll give you a minute to turn to it now. I have it. And it's to a familiar melody that maybe you know, certainly your parents, your parents and, and grandparents. Your grandparents know it, and it's easy to learn. So let's join together. Song number six, We've Got Matzah. We've got matzah, we've got maror, we've got shank bones who could ask for anything more. We've got manna in the desert. We've got Moses, who could ask for anything more? Old man Pharaoh, he's behind us. You won't find us at his door. We've got freedom, we've got Torah. We've got our God, who could ask for anything more? Who could ask for anything more? Now there's another wonderful song, oh, maybe you sang it. At your Seder, oh, we got to adjust uh -oh. this. So oh, give us a minute. Sorry. So we've got to, so we have to adjust our screen for a minute. Did that ever happen to you? Yeah. You were in a call, a Zoom call, or a, going on the internet and your iPad slipped. Well, that's what happens. You know what? Zoom is incredible. Online is incredible. Facebook is incredible because it can do things that we can't do ourselves. We can't go in each other's homes and meet each other. We can't go to the synagogue for a while to meet each other. But this is how we can meet each other. We might be physically apart, but we are spiritually together. We celebrate together. We share Shabbat together. We share Pesach together. Song number four. Are you going to do my favorite song? Oh. I love this song. It's the cantor's favorite song. It's to the tune of our favorite things. It's called Our Passover Things. It reminds us of getting ready for the Seder a few nights ago. Song number four. Ready, guys? Join us. Let's all sing together. Cleaning and cooking and so many dishes. Out with the hammers, no pasta, no knishes. Fish that get filtered, horseradish that stings. These are a few of our Passover things. Matzah and, and karpas and chopped up charoset Shank bones and kiddish and yiddish neuroses 
Tante hukveches and uncle who sings These are a few of our Passover things When the plague strike, when the lights spike When we're feeling sad We simply remember our Passover things And then we don't feel so bad Matzo and Maro Trouble with Pharaoh, famines and locusts and slaves with wheelbarrows, matzah balls floating and eggshells that cling. These are a few of our Passover things. When the plague strike, when the lights spike, when we're feeling sad, we simply remember our Passover things, and then we don't feel so bad. You sang that beautifully. Well, I feel already better. Look what I have. Song. I have a kiddish cup. How many cups of wine or grape juice did you drink at the Seder? I'll give you a minute. One, mm -mm. two, uh, three, nope. four. four. Right. <laughs> and how many children were mentioned in the Seder? Four. four. And how many years did the Israelites wander in the wilderness? Forty. Mm. And how many years were the Israelites enslaved? 400. And how many questions were there? Four. four. So if you remember the number four and 40 and 400, just remembering that number four, you can tell the whole story of the Exodus, the whole story of the Haggadah. Well, tonight on Shabbat, it's not the Seder. We're going to have one cup of wine and we're going to join for the short Kiddush together. Ready? Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Bore Peri Agafen Lechayim Oh, and look what I have here. It's not my chala cover, it's my matzah cover. So let me reach in here in my matzah cover. What do you have there? Well, I had three pieces of matzah for the right? Seder. I have two for Shabbat. Here they are. Two pieces of matzah. I'm going to hold them together. We're going to say the traditional motzi, and then we're going to say the motzia. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam HaMotzi Lechem Min HaAretz Amen Nevarech et Ein HaChaim HaMotzia Lechem Min HaAretz Take it back, Rabbi. First you. Thank you. Mmm, mm, that is really good. Well, I'm going to wipe the crumbs off my hands. You think I need some more? I think so. Yeah, let's... Yeah. You see, I can never get enough of washing, you know, for parents and grandparents and kids, boys and girls of every age, just never wash your hands too much, remember? So we want to be really clean, but most of all, we want to keep the bad stuff, the disease, away. Now, what did I say earlier in the service? I mentioned Elijah. And I mentioned that Elijah will be there tomorrow night. Our special guest, 7.45 p.m. A 15-minute Shabbat, end of Shabbat service, a Havdalah service. We say goodbye to Shabbat. This is the first service of Shabbat on Friday night. And the last service of Shabbat is on Saturday night. So at 7.45 for 15 minutes, we'll join together. And I'll talk about Elijah for a few minutes then. So don't miss it. Well, now we're going to turn to Aleinu, back in our Sidurim. So get your Xerox prayer books. And we're going to turn to Aleinu. And it's found on page 10. Okay. And we're going to stand up. Let's open the ark door. So here, grab the ark Ready? door. I'm hungry. Cantor's going to grab the other door. Okay. We're going to pull it open, and we join for Alenu. Let's move back. So we can see us move back. Alenu le shabeach la don hakol, la tet kedula le yotzer breishit, shenatan lanu Torah temet, Bechaye Yolam Nata Betocheinu, 
ואנחנו קונים ומשתחבים ומודים לפני מלך מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא ונאמר והיה אדוני למלך על כל הארץ ביום ההוא ביום ההוא יהיה אדוני אחד ושמו 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 אחד. Let's close the ark doors. Here we go. We're going to turn to Mourner's Kaddish on the next page, on page 11. And let's pause for a moment to think about people who are no longer alive, people perhaps we knew, or people in our families that we've just heard about. Just think about them. Maybe people who were at our Seder tables in past years, but they've passed away, but we still remember them. Some of us are named after them. That's what we often do in Jewish families, name after people who are no longer alive. We remember them whenever we come to Kaddish. For all those whom we remember, zichronam livracha, Their memories are a blessing to us all. We join together in page 11. Yitgadal, yitgadash, shmei rabah, bialmad ivrach yirutei, v'yamlich malchutei, v'chayechon v'yomechon, v'chaye t'chol v'yit Yisrael, v'agala v'yizman kariv, v'yimru amen. Yehesh shmei rabah m'varach, v'yalam ulamei omaya. יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל שני לקודשה בריחו לעילם מן כל ברכתה ושירתה תושבחתה ונחמתה דאמירן ויאמה ואמרו אמן יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיא וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן עושה שלום ממרמיו הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ועל כל יושבי תבל ואמרו אמן. We can sit down now as we sing עושה שלום. Usually we stand, but let's everybody get close, get close to the screen and sing these words of peace, peace on us, all of us who are gathered, on our people, the Jewish people, and every human being of any religion or race, everyone who peace on them around the world. Ose Shalom. Ose Shalom in Bramah Uyase Shalom Aleinu Ve'al Ekol Yisrael Ve'al Kol Yashvei Tebel Ve'imbru Amen Yase Shalom Yase Shalom Shalom Aleinu Ve'al Kol Yisrael Shalom, yes, shalom, shalom aleinu ve'al ekol Yisrael. Shabbat shalom, chag sameach. Shabbat shalom, chag sameach.